Hey guys, it's AJ Bear here today with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do certain effects on Contagia Studio 8.3. This is what I've just created and this is going to be a tutorial on how to do something a lot like this. So obviously as you can see it's not all the best, but how you get the text to be like this, even though it looks simple, obviously you just move the text, but if you watch, if I take this text, the girl part, if I move it up like that, it changes. So how you have to do it is you take it, you take the text, and you copy it with Control C or just right click, and then you paste it, and then you take the two clips and you group them together like this, and you would select them both, and you would right click and click group. Right now they're already grouped, but if you click it, you see that the group has this plus sign. Click the plus sign and delete the second text. Now, you can safely move it around any way that you like and it won't change its form. How you do this, most people download this stuff, but I just record it straight off of the program. I brought the clip down, green screened it, and then clicked. So I had done that, and then I clicked invert effect. So now as you can see, you can see through the wolf, and there's that background. So then what I had done was I had brought something below it. I usually use the simple rectangle. I just brought it below like that. And then I used the Contasio record. And I had recorded that little section of the screen right here. And then as you can see, it turned into one final thing. I green screened that little bit that was left over right there. So you can see right here, it had been different. So I just clicked remove color and I changed all the colors around. And that's just how you did it like that. So the next effect that I'm gonna be teaching you how to do is the circle effect, where the circle comes up like this. So all you have to do is select your circle. So you go to call out so you can change it to whatever color you'd like. You can, uh, usually I do no border, but sometimes it's better with a border because it's more circular. So you can change the color of the border. And I usually change the effect so that there's no shadow and it's this style. Usually it starts like this, but so I just changed the style to this. And then what you do is you go to visual properties and you change the scale to one and you click add animation and bring it all the way up to 500. So then it looks like this. No, I'll just make it longer. So yeah, and for this one how I got it was I just colorized the different animals and moved it around so that they were like behind each other. So another effect you may have seen me using recently, which I used in this MEP part, where it's like this, and there's the background there, and it looks like it's an entourage of different photos, and everything's coming out. So it's like, and then the photo comes from up there. So this takes a lot more time, and I've seen quite a few people doing it, so I just had to figure it out myself because I found no tutorials for it. As you can see, I grouped a whole bunch of different things here. I'll zoom in so you can see. And that's what all these things in the background are for. And I'll show you quickly how to do that again. Okay, so as you can see here, now I've created a little scene and it's lagging pretty badly, obviously. So then what I just do is I add an animation and I just make it a lot smaller, like about that. And I'll just change that and I usually just add a border so to do that you can't add an exact border to the group so I just go to the simple rectangle simple rectangle and click add border and I usually make it a white border and make it nice and thick about that and then all I do just make sure that they're all there and I make the one on the bottom a whole lot smaller to the size that I want because I just messed up whoops and then the one on the top, you click the add animation and make it smaller. I make it the exact same size as this one, which would be 22. And then you just make sure that it's turned to the same angle. And yeah. And usually that will be the centerpiece, the one that's being transitioned. This, I just try and make sure that it's matched up as perfectly as I can. And then I move this out of the... And 
then I just keep doing this. I just keep copying and pasting everything. You can do it at an angle. You don't have to. Um, and that's really all you have to do. And you just keep doing that until you filled up the entire screen. And then at the end, you just move this back on top. Um, and then, really, I just keep copying and pasting. I usually just move this entirely out of the way. Um, so... Okay, so this just kind of means right now that nothing's going to save, which is fine. But yeah, that's all you have to do. And then, I think you guys can figure out.